Hello everybody, this is 3 Gamer back to kick off part 3 for the last 16 round. And we got two more matches to tuck into here, as we will see Ultima Dino King going up against Star Pumpkin and Pilk taking on Darius. And without further ado, let's get on with the first match. Alright, righty ho then, up first for Ultima Dino King we have a Brachylophosaurus. I didn't see much of it in the last 32 rounds, it died pretty quick. It'll be tough though because in the blue corner for Star Pumpkin we have a Spinosaurus. This Spinosaurus is quite beefy. It does have some attacking moves and it could be and it could be the, a problem for Ultimate to deal with, as will all of Star Pumpkin's team. What I will say... No, no, that was... No, never mind. I was going to say, if Ultimate defeats this spine, you're going to have a Titan advantage, but he won't. Ooh, good start from Ultimate there. A crit right off the bat. Although, not much damage dealt. Ooh, another crit, though. Ultimate Dino King starting quick. Mm, but the Spino responds. It's a kam kamikaze tackle. Look at that. It does more damage than Brachylophosaurus's crits. But the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Oh, it's a tie. That's a chance miss there for Ultimate. However, the Blunder type has nullified that Tail Smash. Which means that the Spinosaurus will get only the normal attack, though. but a normal attack is still enough to drop Brachylophosaurus's HP in the red. Oh, that's a tie, and that will be enough to give Star Pumpkin a slight 1-0 lead. Right, as for Ultimate Second Dino, we have a Super Tala Rose. This beast was well again it died pretty easily against engineer gaming so we didn't see what it did what it can do but i think ultimate's going to need it to do a bit more this time and what i will say is one hit will finish off the spino but we've seen t people in this situation before and they always and they usually end up 2-0 down oh that's a tie and oh is it gonna happen to ultimate again Okay, that's once. Nope, it won't be happening to Ultimate this time as the Spinosaurus bites the dust. But it did take a, take away half of Talaros' HP. So Star Pumpkin still has the lead. As their second dino, the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus enters the fray. Do, 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 Oh, that's paper. Ooh, the Talaros gets on pet. Will Earth Barrier activate? Indeed it will. And that, I think, pretty much... Yeah, that guarantees that we will we'll, we'll see Awaken Mode, because if Ultima gets hit, it won't be enough to kill him. And if Star Pumpkin gets hit, it won't be enough to kill that. And looks like Ultimate's going to get off the hit. The Earth Barrier is still in effect. And it's Awakening time. Can Ultimate turn the screw here? Oh, it's a tie! But again, Ultimate won't mind that because of the, all that damage. Oh, it's another tie! And it keeps the Awaken mode in check. Oh my god, three ties in a row has finished off the Alpha Acro and has given Ultimate Dino King a 2 1 lead. And he still has the Awaken mode to use. So if he gets a hit off on this Mega Raptor, then Ultimate Dino King will look set to win this match. As for Star Pumpkin's third Dino, we have, as I said, the powerful Mega Raptor. And look at all that power. Mayfly and Hurricane Beat looking to do some damage. But the Earth Barrier, I think, is still in effect. So even when Star Pumpkin 
Well, if Star Pumpkin gets hit, it won't be lethal. Oh, well, despite several ties, the Mega Raptor does get off that crucial hit. There's the Earth Barrier, though, limiting the damage. So a chance missed for Ultimate to extend his lead, but he does still have the lead. Oh, and he will be extending it. Oh. Why, why couldn't he get that off last round? He could have done loads more damage, but I think Ultimate will take that. A Quake Saber from the Talarurus. Which is going to deal a significant amount of damage to the Mega Raptor. Which means I think all the Alpha Acro may need is a crit and it'll win. Well, speaking of crit, the Mega Raptor will be finishing off the Talarurus with a Hurricane Beat. Kikis. Still all to play for here. Okay, as for Ultimate's third Dino, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Hmm, this is where I feel like it could cost him not having a fire move, because he would have the type advantage over that Mega Raptor, which would probably be enough to win him the match, but instead he's gone for no fire moves. Which seems to have done served him well so far, but it might cost him this time. Ooh, the Acro gets off the first hit. And remember, the Acro does have that Dino Stuffer, so even if the Mega Raptor gets off a Mayfly, the Dino Stuffer will stop it. Ultima Dino King, one hit away from win. But here comes the Dino Stuffer. That Mayfly could have done some serious damage to that Acro, but the Dino Stuffer stopped it. But the Mayfly is still triggered, so Star Pumpkin can still get it off. Oh, which they do! They do get off a Mayfly, and that makes things interesting because that will put the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus within killing range. Which means it could all come down to this. Yeah, I think a Hurricane Beat will do it, but I don't think a Rock Move will. Ooh, Ultimate knows that, which is why I went for the Rock Move, but now a Rock Move will do it. Oh, it's a tie! Oh, it's, it's so close! Oh, it's another tie! But I think that will do it for Ultimate Dino King. Three ties in a row, finished off the Mega Raptor, and Ultimate Dino King has won! Wow, that was a very tight match there. Like, just when I thought Ultimate Dino King was going to pull away, Star Pumpkin strikes back and takes it right down to the wire. So, commiserations to Star Pumpkin. They did well in that match. You know, I think they can be happy with how well they've done in the tournament, but it is an animation for them, and Ultimate Dino King will be advancing to the quarterfinals. Which, is, I think, is the furthest he's ever got in my tournament. <laughs> right, enough about that match. Let's move on to our other... Alright, yeah. In this matchup, we see Pilk going up against Darius. At first for Pilk, we have a Baryonyx. This Baryonyx was key to Pilk defeating Dino Nerd in the last 32. But I don't think it'll have an easier match this time. As easy as a match this time, because in the blue corner, we have the one shot killer itself, the Lexoversaurus. We definitely saw what this beast can do if it gets off a Quake Saber, along with Attack Boost as well, as it, as it's the only Dino, I think, in this whole tournament to one-shot someone. Ooh, it's a tie. No, not there. Um, I think ties are quite... Tie damage seems pretty even between these two. Another tie. If only this Lexoversaurus was tie defense. Then tie, then the ties would suit Darius more. Ac actually, ties suit Darius more because it triggers that Quake Saber. So yeah. Now that I think about it. There's the Crystal Crusher. Ooh, but a shockwave coming in there. But that might not be the worst case scenario for Darius because... They still have a chance to get off a Crystal Crusher. They just have to make sure they get Rock. And they don't. 
Hill off to a strong start here. Several ties have worn the Barry's health down a little bit. And yep, Pilp taking a 1-0 lead, making short work of the Laxovasaurus and making sure it did not get off that deadly Quake Saber. Right, as for Darius the second dino, we have a Streptus Bombless. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I promise. Mwah. This you strapped the Spondylus, put in its most impressive display in the last 32. Against Blood Moon. But it's going to have to put in another impressive display here, because this Baryonyx is on a roll. Oh, look at that. Big damage dealt, and a shockwave as well. And to add insult to injury, Dino Illusion did not get triggered. Okay, so Barry will be going rock. Ooh. Pelt in complete control of this match. Ah, oh, finally Dino Illusion gets triggered. And well, he's probably going to need it because there's another shockwave. Oh, it's bye-bye paper again. Is it random or is it just set? We can't go five. But you can go one, and that's a tie. And that will suit the Baryonyx more because of that Dino Illusion. Yep. Wow, every oh, wow, everything's going Pilt's way so far. A 2-0 lead. And a dominant performance so far. Leaves Darius down to their last Dino, the Ampelosaurus. Ding, 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 ding. I think this is going to be the end for Darius. They, they had a good run in the tournament. They, I'd probably say they got further than I expected them to get. And, well, finally, Darius gets off his first hit of the match. That's it. Keep giving him it so it's more interesting then. <laughs> and the Baryonyx finally biting the big one, but it definitely did damage. Right, as for Pilt's second dino, we have a Megalosaurus. Not much to say here, since again, it has all secret moves. Bound. Ding, ding, ding. Can Pilt finish the job, or can Darius mount the comeback? Ooh, another rock hit there. Stopping that gigantic fall from being activated. Oh, that's a tie. But the tie attack there will probably suit the Ampelosaurus more. And this Ampelosaurus is tie recovery type. Which means that it could heal back some health when it's a tie. But regardless of that, look at this all of a sudden. Where has this come from? The Ampelosaurus is fights. It's getting Darius back in the match, and all of a sudden, Pilk, from a commanding position, is down to his last oh, dino. Yeah, that dino that. being the Crowlophosaurus. Crowlophosaurus, <laughs> that. Well, can Pilk halt this sudden momentum that Darius seems to have? Or can Darius mount it? Finish the comeback. Ooh, Cryo gets the hit. Oh, well, at least there's a much... At least he's back in the match. Oh, Cryo gets another hit. Pilk turning up the heat. But the Ampelosaurus is striking back, and here comes the Light Recovery. Which might raise Ampelosaurus above lethal, so I don't think Pilk will have lethal if he gets a hit. If he gets off the Spalooza Smash, he'll, he'll have lethal, but I don't know if a crit will do it. Well, we're about to find out. Actually, yeah, I think a crit should do it. Oh, it doesn't! Wow! 
That's that's because um, Cryo's moves are all balanced, so his crit doesn't do significantly more damage than his other two moves. Ooh. This makes things interesting. Because the Crowlophosaurus will take big damage while the Ampelosaurus will might not that might not make a difference, but if it's consecutive ties, then it will because of tie attack. Oh, oh it's a tie attack! And all of a sudden, for the first time in the match, Darius has the lead. Oh, it's over! What a comeback from Darius! 2-0 down, the Barry unscathed, Darius didn't even get a hit yet, and out of nowhere, the Ampelosaurus defeats the Baryonyx, the Megalosaurus, and the Crowlophosaurus, and eliminates Pilk. Wow, <laughs> what a comeback. Like, honestly, I just, I just wrote them off completely in this match. As soon as the Baryonyx went Gave Pilk a 2-0 lead. I just wrote him off. I just said, yeah, he ain't winning this. But out of nowhere, the Ampelosaurus. Wow. <laughs> Mightily impressive by Darius. And Pilk, I thought would have, was going to be one to watch in this tournament. But he's eliminated. Right. Let's have a look at our format now. Well, look at that. In the quarterfinal, we are going to see Ultimate Dino King take on Darius. And that might actually be a good match for Ultimate because he will have the type advantage over Lexovasaurus. And then, yeah, so that might be, that's probably a better match for Ultimate than against Pilk. So we might see it. It might actually happen. Can we see Ultimate Dino Queen and Ultimate Dino King in the semi-final? Oh, that'll be a match. That'll be a match of the tournament. 100%. <laughs> Right, anyway, that's going to end this session, so stay tuned for next time, where we will actually conclude the last 16. Wow, it's flown by, isn't it? With Lapoke going up against the Champions team, and Maximum Pyrus taking on the hosts. And until then, it's a Stranger Gamer, signing out.